Good morning, friends. Teresa from Star Stylist Homestead. Um, okay, this sick household. I'm not sick. Um, my son is now sick, though. So the two of them are staying back there as I keep this nice and bleached. Um, anyway, I am going to make my brother's um, or my mother's hamburger soup that he made while he was here. I'm going to do a couple of different things. I'm not using hamburger this time. Sorry, I've got a hair that's loose right there. I don't want it falling in my food. Um, so this is what we have. I'm going to turn you around here. This is what we're going to need. What you see sitting right here. Okay. V8 zucchini in tomato, in tomato sauce. Whole kernel corn, green beans, sliced carrots. He uses stewed tomatoes. Um, I don't have any, so I'm going to use dice and use some spices. Um, I'm going to use the Ditalini pasta. Um, I took the box out, but I'm not using that. I'm using what was left over from what he made. Then we're going to be using pollo, chicken and beef bouillon, and bay leaves. Okay, and on top of that, okay, I have a pound and a half of ground turkey meat in here. I wanted to get it ready. And I have one large onion. Um, I did my meat from frozen, so I did it in water until it defrosted and I broke it up, which is why my onions weren't in there already. So, now I'm just going to cook it all together. Let those onions soften. Okay? And I'm going to add... About a teaspoon and a half. I just washed my hands. Literally. I just finished the dishes. Okay. So no worries. Uh, Italian Caesar. I'm using my hand because I don't want to just dump it in accidentally. Uh, about a teaspoon and a half of Italian Caesar. And if you use stewed tomatoes, you don't even need to add this in. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of oregano. Because you know Italian season has all that. And a little bit of basil. Whoa. See? Those holes are bigger. And that's enough. And we're going to do salt and pepper. Um, I'm not going to put a lot in because all those pans have a lot of salt in it. So, I'm going to put Oh, a teaspoon and a half of pepper. And about a teaspoon of salt for now. Until later. Okay, so right now I just want to soften this all up. When we start pouring, when we start putting all these cans in, use the juice of every can. Because that's where and then you're going to add more water on top of that because you need to cook your pasta. Um, we're probably going to use about two cups, maybe a little more, maybe three cups of V8 juice. I'll let you know when I start pouring it in. But yes, use the broth of everything you open. And I'm actually waiting for him right now. We're going to use... I believe it's a tablespoon, two tablespoons of one and, and three of the other, but I'm not sure which one it is. I want to say it's three of beef because it's a beef soup, but I could be wrong. So I'll let you know when we go to play, man. And if he doesn't answer me, I'll put two and two. And I'll taste it from there. <laughs> but, yeah. So, those are softening pretty quick. I guess I should turn that down a little bit. 
We're not even putting our pasta in until all of this comes up to a boil. Okay? So I'm just going to start opening my pans and dumping them in right into the... with the juice right into the meat and onions is what I was trying to say. I, when he said this was Ma's recipe, she always made it. I do not remember. And then my niece comes over and I was telling her about it and she's like, she's not tea. She says, when you first moved here, you made one exactly like this. You were just dumping every all these cans in. She says, if you didn't use hamburger, you used stew, stew meat. Once again, that's where my um, chemotherapy comes in <laughs> and screwed with my memory. Because I seriously do not remember that at all. So, and when I tasted it. I was like, oh my God, this is so good. Why didn't I ever think of this? So I don't remember my mother making it either, so my memory problem must have been back then too. If I had two cans of this zucchini, I'd put two in. Because look at this. Look at those, look at those big chunks. Mmm. Doesn't that look yummy? Let's stir this up a little bit so you can see what's going on. And let me grab my, I put all the spices in, so I'm just gonna dump my tomatoes in. And I think I might use another can of tomatoes. Look at that, my friends. That's sorry. Just so I get this right. Let's see. So I can put it in. He just measured. He didn't measure, he just poured. He said about that much. And I think his was about two cups. I'm putting three. I might even just dump the rest of this in. There's three. Yeah. I need juice anyway, so I'm just dumping the rest. So say about four cups. It's just gonna give you more flavor. And I am going to add more diced tomatoes. And I usually buy them Italian ones. I'm not sure what happened here. Okay. I'm gonna wash those out. And there you have the soup. Um, right now, let me bring you back a little bit so that we we get it in. Ah, I'm gonna put a couple of bay leaves. That one's broken. And then we're gonna use two tablespoons of each of these. Chicken bouillon, you can use the cubes too if you want. One, until I find out, two. find out which one it is, or I might even just taste this and, and see. Now, this is where you would add more water because we're going to be cooking our pasta. I put four, four and a quarter cups of that. Now nah, I'm going to add more water. As a matter of fact, let's use this can. Yeah. 
14 and a half ounce. Yep, that's good. Sorry. There we go. I used two cans. 14 and a half ounce so, of water, and that's plenty. Now, I'm just going to cover this because everything's in except for the pasta, which is right here. And let that come to a boil. And that's all there is to it, my friends. Oh, you know what? Let me take a taste. Mm. Wow, that look. <laughs> and it's cold. Wow, chilly. Anyway, there you have it. 11 minutes. I'm done with the soup other than it boiling and putting the pasta in. We're going to put two cups of pasta. Um, I've never bought this pasta before. Hey, look. I never bought the pasta. I've never made the soup. Although I did help him the other day. I got everything ready. Um, this pasta. And it's really good, too. I mean, really good. And this soup freezes extremely well. So, which is why I made this big pot. Because we won't eat all this, just the three of us. Um, I can send some home with my sister, but her kids don't eat onions, so they're out. They don't know what they're missing. So, when it's this comes to a boil, I'll put the pasta in, cook the pasta, and it's done. I'll bring you back for all that. All right, my friends, time for the pasta. About 10 minutes, I have a nice boil going. I know that there's two cups in here. So I'm just gonna dump it right in there. And we're gonna just let that cook and then the soup is done. Um, my brother got back to me and uh, he used, I'm gonna cover this again by the way. I turned it down too. Um, he was using teaspoons of the bouillon. Two chicken, three teaspoons of beef bouillon. I used two tablespoons of each. I left it at that. I tasted it and it's spot on. Um, he also used one tablespoon of garlic salt. Um, I used a little garlic powder. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little of this garlic salt because I had added the other before. I put maybe a teaspoon and a half in there. So I'll add the I'll add the tablespoon of garlic salt to the recipe, and I put little notes in the recipe of what I did. If you're gonna use the stewed tomatoes, you don't even need any of the spices I used other than the garlic salt. Um, so that's just an FYI, and this soup is done, um, or will be as soon as this pasta is done, another 10 minutes or so. Quick and easy and delicious if you um, freeze it. Now, I will say, if you want to can this, you can also can it before you put the pasta in. So, I, I had it all ready. I could have canned to the soup um, right at that stage with everything I had in there. Um, and then just been able to pop one open, add some even ramen noodles, just the noodles to it, and it would have been good. Or even that, just cooked some of that up and mixed it right in with there. Would have been perfect. So. That's just the, the prepper in me. Um, I wish I had thought of it. I would have taken some of this out because I wanted to freeze some, but I would have loved to have canned it. Too late now. It's going in the freezer unless we eat it all. <laughs> all right. I will be back for the taste test and then we're done. All righty, friends. It's all done. I just want to show you what's left in the pan anyway. I served both the men out of this. Now, you see there's not that much liquid in there. Because I didn't put a lot of water, 
I can add more water to this now um, and just get it going. Um, and make sure you oh, take out your leaves. I went to serve my son and it was sitting in the top of his. <laughs> so, sorry, did I give you a <laughs> boat <struggle> spoon? How do <laughs> you think I gave Maurice one too? I'm so used to eating with the small ones and giving them these big old spoons. He had to swap it. So anyway, here's mine. Um, oh, back to that, the liquid. Um, I'm actually going to add a little bit more water to that because I have so much V8 juice in there, it's not going to dull the taste at all. I actually did it with my brothers too um, to get more liquid. So don't be afraid to do that. Bon appetit. I know this is going to be good. And it's very hot. Very. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Very good. Um, I'll just leave this sitting here like this for now. But there you have it. It's that easy and it is that good. And I used two tablespoons of each of the bullions. Um, and it's good. His was good too. I mean, I don't taste the difference using two. So skip the because that's a lot of soup that's a big pan right there for two teaspoons I just that's why I just assumed it was tablespoons I would have used tablespoons which I did um, and it tastes amazing it's not it's not too salty or anything so anyway guys that's it and it was fast I mean you've seen how much time I put into it I talked more than anything else opening the can, cutting the onion, and and cooking the meat was the longest part. Everything else just got thrown together and we just waited for it to boil. Put the pasta in, wait for that to cook. It's a waiting game. Anyway, you guys, like and subscribe if you haven't. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and it's pretty healthy too, might I add. Because <laughs> it's all vegetables, there's no potato. Oh, you could add potatoes to that, but I'd add a lot more liquid. Um, but it's good because it doesn't have the potatoes and it's got more vegetables. Um, so anyway, I hope you try it. Let me know if you do. Have a great day. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.